You're fucked up. <laughs> you're fucked. <laughs> if you can't communicate, you're fucked up. You know? Yes, sir. You, those are the most valuable tools in this world to succeed. Because if you're informed and you can communicate, yeah. you can go places. Mm. But if you know, if you don't know shit, where are you going? Plus, Nowhere. on top of that communication. So if you don't know that you don't, you don't know shit, and you don't know how to tell anybody that you don't know shit, you yeah. don't know shit, and you don't know where to go. Especially if yeah. you don't have a little bit of education, and if you don't speak the language, or you don't mm. know how to read and write, and right, all of those right. fucking obstacles and many people's lives. Yes, sir. Thank God I was blessed since I was born. Mm. You know, I've been predestinated before the foundation of this world. Mm. I was lost. Me too, me too, brother. For, for uh, many, many years, but uh -huh. one day, I gave my life to my Lord and Savior, and uh, He changed my life. Me too, brother. You know what I mean? Me too, yes, sir. And um, what was crazy is before that moment, I was an atheist, right? Uh, so okay. now that I have, now that I believe in God, I had this perspective of, look, I, I was once in your shoes, but I found the truth. And what, what had it fucked up was, growing up, I was thrown into a church. I was fed God, uh, when, when that's not how you're supposed to do it, right? Yeah, no. So I, was, I hated it, because uh, I thought it was propaganda. But then I found God when I was 17, and that's the difference. I oh, found, yeah. I found the grand consciousness that that, that, that is life. Yeah, you know, well, and um, you know, uh, we are looking for the peace, uh, the peace, and the happiness. Mm. Peace and happiness, right? Yes, sir. And love. And love. Oh, who do you think that is? God is peace, love, happiness. All that because he is, those are the fruits of the spirit. Mm, the along, fruits of the spirit, among yes. Among the fruits of the spirit come long suffering. Don't get me wrong. Right. You're not going to go. <laughs> uh, this is the price that I have to pay for my disobedience. Mm. I accept. You, you know, I'm not going to be all, all that. Oh, almighty, mighty. Yes, because that's and, not real. No, mm. because now you love me, follow me, carry my cross, do not look back, love thy neighbor as you love thyself, you know? Yes. Be a doer of good deeds, you know, because your faith is pain if you don't have good works. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely, because we have, we have a say-so in our faith. Of and if course. we're saying we're doomed by the time we're 20 years old, we're fucked. You know what I'm saying? But, like, uh, that's good that, that we, right now the Lord put us together so we can reaffirm and confirm mm -hmm. once, once again that He is real. Yes, sir. And, and, and our life, like uh, they tell yes. me, how do you know? I, I know God since I was young. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that uh, I wanted to live my life mm. the way I want to live it, right? Right. And He didn't force me to come to Him. Even though I used to look for him, but I had a lot of hidden motivations in my heart. I wasn't really, truly honest and sincere. Mm -hmm. The only way you're gonna find God is in the spirit and truth. When you look and you come to him for real, and you're willing to die, you're willing to give your life for a new life. Mm. Hey, the way he did it for you, me, and everybody else, right? Yeah. So, but that's the knowledge from the Lord that we learned along the way. I learned, I was a baby in Christ, a baby Christian, you know, mm -hmm. born again, in fire for the Lord. I got into the evangelism and all that, but on my ministry, prison ministry, bro. Yeah? God delivered me from prison and drug addiction. Yeah. You know? I haven't been back in prison since 1998. Sheesh, God's good, brother. And I never used heroin again. Yeah, you never looked back, bro. You, had, no, you lived no. the whole new life. God gave you a whole new you life. You know why? Because I repented. Mm. I backslid for seven years. Listen, okay? okay? And I picked up a whole bunch of charges, felonies, and I ended up looking at the three strikes and no walk superior court. Mm. Okay? Mm. No, three strikes. 25 to life just for having a criminal career mm -hmm. and being down three times already in the penitentiary. Mm -hmm. Understand? Yes, sir. So 
the Lord saved me on my way to prison and I served him in there, but uh, when I got out, my family didn't want etc. I fall down, I fell, I was asleep for seven years. But when I was going to court for the 25 to life, I repented, got on my knees, and I asked the Lord for forgiveness, and I told him that I, I'm really sorry for what I did, you know? Mm -hmm. well, I'm turning my back on him, knowing that he's always been there for me, and this and that, but from now on, I'm gonna trust you. I'm gonna trust in thee, and I'm not gonna, uh, it doesn't matter what happened to me from now on. I'm gonna trust in you, and I know that you have something better in storage for me. Mm. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna wait. But thank you, Lord, you know, for opening my eyes, my spiritual eyes, and I understand that uh, you're the only one who can open doors, you know? And close them, which yeah. is why whenever you're opening and closing them, it's for a good reason. I know, kid, you know, I mm -hmm. need favor for you. And then he came through. They couldn't make the three strikes stick. Really? No, bro, I have a whole bunch of testimonies that God has been there since the first day I was dying with four bullet holes, <laughs> eight holes on my body for got shot four times. Yeah. Right, I shoot up with the Rangers when I was 18. You're a wild man, brother. Huh? You're a wild when man. I was dying, but when I was dying, I caught- Enjoy more genuine content across the hashtag Seventh Wonder TV. Hashtag. Seventh Wonder Marketing at its finest. <laughs> I think I'm dying, but that's okay.